Hi, I'm George, and in this Coral Fish video, I'm going to be teaching all of you beginners and college reefers particularly how to go about getting RODI fresh water for your reef tanks. Now this video will help reefers of all ages and skill levels, but it was definitely inspired by all of you college reefers out there who have really wanted to answer this question for, provide the solution to how do I get and make the RODI slash salt water for this reef tank while living in a college dorm room. And this is also just perfect for beginners who are setting up their first saltwater tanks that are trying to learn about how to get and or make water for their aquariums. Now there's two ways to go about getting water for your aquarium in college, two right ways at least. I suppose the third way would just be to grab tap water from your sink, which I'll admit even I've done that, emergencies do happen. Uh, and even I'll commit the biggest aquarium sins. sins. But the two right ways of getting water for your tank are either number one, you go to your aquarium store and you get it for free or you buy it from them, or number two, you somehow make it yourself. And in my two years of living uh, in on-campus housing, I've had experiences doing both of these. Let's talk about the first way really quickly. Back when I was looking at prospective colleges, I would always see if there was like a local fish store near the campus or in the town somewhere, because it was always pretty important to me that I had at least somewhere to go in case I had a major problem. But back to the water. So my first year of college, I lived in a typical dorm room. I didn't have a car. I didn't have an RODI machine, which meant that every time I needed water, I would walk three miles to the aquarium store, get the water and walk it all the way back. Most important thing is this, to be able at any moment to sacrifice what you are for what you will become. But it ain't about how hard you hit, it's about how hard you can get hit and keep moving forward. Okay, that actually didn't happen. I really just wanted you guys to think I was tough for like a second. <laughs> what I really did was borrow a friend's car to go to the aquarium store and pick up my water. Take a bus, ride your bike, find a way to get to the aquarium store, and you can pick up either fresh water and then mix it with the salt once you get back to your room, or you can just buy the salt water from them. I actually did both. Now number two, making it yourself is a lot easier and it's a lot cheaper. For those of you who don't have a fish store near your campus or area, uh, or you're just getting really sick of buying the water from your store, then you're going to have to make it yourself using what's called an RODI machine. And this converts water from your tap into basically purified fresh water that can then be mixed with the salt to make the salt water. And that's what I call high quality a tool. And I've actually this year taken the step from going to the store and getting it to using an RODI machine here at college. Let's head on over to the kitchen. So this year I live in a fraternity house and I knew I hit the jackpot right away when I saw all of the sinks had hose adaptable spouts, which to me screamed RODI machine. Now it's time to introduce the RODI machine that I started using this year. This is the Aquatic Life four stage twist in RODI unit that came out last fall. And let me tell you, the people over at Aquatic Life really thought hard about what's wrong with all of the generic, typical looking RODI machines and redesigned this in a different way that believe me has helped me so much and I know it's gonna help so many people. I'm honestly surprised that Steve Jobs never made this over at Apple. Imagine that, the I-R-O-D-I. But back to the water. I make my R-O-D-I water in the basement of my fraternity using this machine, and I'll tell you why it's probably the best option for many of you wondering how to get water as a college student or beginner. Now you can't really just take a typical RODI system with you to college. With this system, you can because it's a lot smaller and lighter. Because it doesn't use huge canisters, it uses these small filter cartridges that you can replace by twisting in and out. And the cartridges even pivot up for easy replacement without tools, which takes so much longer to do with other RODI units. Something I really appreciate is how easy it is to take this unit back and forth with me between home and school. Now the only concern that a lot of you should have left is, George, that looks like a great product, but where on earth am I going to hook that up to? Now growing up, I always used a hose adapter to hook up my RODI units. I actually do the same thing still with this sink in my basement. Now if you aren't as lucky as me with the sink situation, I would go to the basement of your college dorm hall. A lot of times in the laundry room area, there's a sink with one of these hose adaptable spouts. If not, 
Just keep looking in other dorm halls. Again, this unit is so small, you can even carry it around in your backpack. But they also do give you the tools to hook it up in the other ways you've done it with traditional RODI units. And just a disclaimer guys, I was not paid in any way uh, by Aquatic Life to promote this product. I've been using this for all of this year and it's genuinely helped me so much. And I really believe that with this product, there shouldn't be any excuses left to be using tap water from your sink. This is a really affordable unit compared to lots of the RODI machines out there on the market right now. If you have any interest in purchasing this product, you can actually buy it now on my website at coralfishsupplies.com. I'll leave a link in the description for you to check out. But back to the water. So once I make the RODI water in my basement, I then bring the jugs all the way back up to my room, mix the salt with it to make it salt water, and that's pretty much it for how I make my RODI water these days, and at least for the next couple years until I graduate. If you're a beginner and you'd like to learn more information about why you should use RODI water in the first place or on RODI machines in general, I'll put more in-depth videos right up here on your screen. Thanks so much for watching guys. If you have any questions at all, let me know in the comment section below. Remember to keep those nitrates low. George, out.